Hi golfers, Nick here from Nick Taylor Golf. I'm down at Valde Este in Spain. Lovely setting here, got a fantastic range, fantastic facility. But I thought I'd take this opportunity just to talk to you about tee claws. So you may have seen me use these in my videos recently. Uh, when I'm back at Aintree and uh, American Golf, I have these set up permanently on the mats. So it's there for lessons, it's there for fittings as well. Just gives people an idea of the geometry of the swing the right sort of angles the club should be swinging on. So I'm just going to talk to you about how you can use these. So it's not just about using them on range mats. Obviously we're out here on the grass. I'm going to talk to you first of all about the design of these. So if you take a look. So they're called T-claws. So you can see these bits at the bottom there. They're sort of act as claws, if you like. Obviously it's where it's got the name from. Uh, there's a hole in the centre. That's where the T goes. So T-claw. That's the idea. Underneath, there's a little bit which sticks out, which is to loop the little strings around. So you may have seen the different strings. You've got a couple of different colors. So you've got green and yellow. And at the end, on both sides, there's a little loop. So you can see the little loop there. So these loop around the inside of the T-clock. So that's how you're able to get these lines uh, to draw up. One of the purpose of these is to, um, when you're hitting off with a driver or something off the tee, one of the ideas is to not let the tee claw fly off somewhere. So you attach two on the ground, hit off one, so if it does ping out, it won't go too far. So that's the idea, which I'll, I will hit a driver in a second just to sort of show you uh, sort of the main purpose of that but the reason I use these or the main reason I use these is really for drawing up the grids um, you've seen some of the guys this week use the alignment sticks obviously you need quite a few of those uh, you can get spray paint but obviously that's not going to be ideal on range mats um, and certain grass areas you can't really use that on um, but these you could, these are very uh, versatile you can take these to the range, onto the course, onto the grass, indoors on the mats. So there's loads of stuff you can do with that. So what I'm going to do now is just um, position these how I normally do, how I set them up, and just guide you through sort of the setup if you want to set yourself your own grid. Okay, so first up, I'm just going to show you how to set up the grid. It's quite handy having all these different colours, so you can sort of uh, label them as different parts of the grid or whatever you want to call it. So the first thing I'm going to do is just set up my target line. It's going to get a straight line. So I'm going to use one of these green strings and I'm just going to connect two of these T claws together in a straight line just to give me my target line. Okay, so I've connected the yellow and black ones with this green string. So I'm just going to draw my target line here. I'm going to try and get this as straight as possible. So very easy to get them into the grass. They just twist in. So I'm just going to try and get this as straight as possible. So this represents my target line. So the next thing I'm going to do is just draw my swing centre. So this is going to go like 90 degrees to my target line uh, in the middle. So for that, I'm going to use these blue and white ones. So it's going to connect, connect two together just to create my swing centre. So my swing centre is going to go 90 degrees to my target line there. So I've just connected those two up. Now the next thing I'm going to do is start to put in my club pass so this is going to go from the white and blue tee claw and I'm going to use the green and yellow on either side I'm going to put one there and one there okay so I've just connected uh, the two tee claws that represent the club path so roughly you want these angles around about 20 degrees obviously it doesn't have to be exact it's just really just to give you an idea of the club moving uh, inward so now what I'm going to do is set up one for the hand path. So I'm going to get another blue and white one going down the swing centre and then green and yellow either side to represent the hand path. Okay, so I've just set up my hand path here. Notice how these lines are parallel with each other. So they're both going roughly inwards, say 20 degrees in from that sort of target line. So I've just got one more T claw here to put in. So I'm going to put this one in here to represent the ball position and just to build in the draw into the shot. So when you're putting the black and yellow in for your ball position, uh, probably a good guide to use for this, rather than just guessing, is you want this three balls behind your swing centre. 
So I've just got three balls there. I'm going to place that one on that third ball. So we're three balls back from that ball, uh, from that swing centre. It's about roughly where you want to put that one in for your ball position. Okay, I've got one more tee core left. So I'm going to try and be a little bit clever here. So I'm just going to put one sort of on my sort of path, if you like, just to represent what direction the pass can be going at impact. So you, sometimes I'll set this up on the mat at this angle. So that yellow string there kind of represents this one here. So the angle you have in here should be roughly the angle in there. So the, the wider this is, the wider my path is going to be projected out to the right. Right, so I'm just putting this yellow string here to represent sort of the, the path. So you can see you've got the three balls there, three balls there. So that segment there equals that segment there. A grid set up. I'm just going to get a couple of shots. I'm not going to go into too much detail here because I've, I've done this before, but I'm just going to just show you how I use this. So ball position on the black and yellow. Left foot on the swing centre, so slightly flared out. The outside one represents the club path and the inside one represents the hand path. So you can see in the golf swing, uh, the golf club moves around in the arc. Uh, the reason why that is, is just the way the golf club's designed. So if the golf club was designed completely upright, these lines would be moving in a straight line. So the plane line would be going up and down that target line. But the club's bent, which means uh, the swing moves around more of an arc around the body. So you've got these lines representing club and hand path. So ideally, hands on the club should move in at the same rate. Obviously I'm doing various things in my swing to help with that, which I have talked about in other videos, but today we're really just talking about the tee claws here. Uh, and then again on the finish, the hands on the club moving around. So I'm gonna try and hit a shot. If I hit a ball from here, this is just before my swing center. That path should be projecting out to the right around four or five degrees for my golf swing. So roughly, I'll probably exaggerate that a little bit with that yellow string, but just to give you an idea, visual really. So as I'm setting up here, I'm actually aiming the face in between those two lines. So I actually have it slightly open to target, but slightly close to sort of the path. That should give me my push draw. Pretty good, nice little push draw there. It's gonna come in with the camera here just to show you something. I don't know if you can see this on the camera, I didn't take a big divot, but the ball was right there. And you can't really see any markings on the ground until about here. And sort of the low point is roughly on my swing center there. So that just shows you about the contact, how I hit the ball first, then took the ground. Didn't take a big divot, but I hit the ground after the ball. Put the T-claw just inside the swing center here. So I'm gonna hit very slightly out of the ball. So you, basically what I've done is just connected these two up with that string. So if I was on a range mat, this tee claw would ping out uh, on the grass. It doesn't always do that, it sometimes stays in, but sometimes it comes out. So that's going to hit a shot. Again, same, same idea, club path, hand path. Okay, pretty good shot there. So you can see, tee claw comes out, tee still in it. That's really handy if you're practicing on a range where you haven't got the right tee height. So, so that's the main purpose of the tee claw. Obviously, if you're on a range mat, get the right tee height. But as you can see, I like to adapt it a little bit. There's loads of stuff you can do with this. Chipping, putting drills, I've seen loads of stuff online. So, but that's what I use them for. So I hope that's helped, uh, giving you a little bit of an insight. I'm gonna put the links uh, in the description below just about the tee claws, where you can get them from. Uh, but I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and we'll see you again soon. The most Three balls, three balls. So that segment. So you can see I'll put in the yellow string there to represent the putt. <laughs> I'm trying to film here, man. <laughs> you gonna go again? <laughs>